One, two, three. And welcome, guys, to Moments of the Magic Weekly Recap, episode, episode 15. 15. Can you believe that? Nope. <laughs> <laughs> well, I can't we're... believe you've gotten me to do something consistent for 15 weeks. Yes. That's the goal, because, I don't know, thank you all for <laughs> those who are joining, and uh, welcome. Welcome, happy Sunday. And as we said, episode 15, episode 15, big 15. Big <laughs> 15. That's the amount of years we've been married this year, 15 <gasps> years. Oh my gosh. Weird is that? That's crazy. Isn't that crazy? Yeah. 15 years ago we got married. Joshua, Matt, thanks for joining. Joshua. I'm not drinking Josh tonight. No, we're drinking a different bottle. Well, she's oh. drinking a different different glass tonight. But, uh... We'll talk about it for good reason. <clears throat> so, uh, how's everybody doing today? Love you too. Give Jen a big hug. Everybody have a good weekend? Cats in the box. Yeah. We had a really decent weekend. Um, Weather-wise, yeah, too. Yeah, weather-wise was really good. Play outside a lot. Yep. Hey, Judy. Cheers, Judy. <laughs> yeah, the little one got to here. run around and... You would have thought she would have gone right to sleep, but no, she fought sleep like crazy this afternoon for her nap, and then fell asleep on me at like 2.30. Yeah, and then she didn't want to wake up from her nap. And now she won't go back to sleep. Yeah, so. So, all good. Such is life with a two-year-old. Life of a toddler. But, uh, yeah. Matt's nephew turned four. Awesome. Also, happy birthday to Matt's nephew. Hey, hey John. Hey, John. What's going on? A lot is going on. It's crazy. Notes. This is like five pages of notes. Wow. I'm I could glad, talk forever tonight. I'm glad you wrote it all down because yes. I got my phone doing the, the video. Huh. So I can't I can't look at my notes. 831, should we get started? Well, I guess we should probably get started. So um Again, I mean, big story is, you know, Disney Springs. Disney Springs. Disney yeah. Springs is going to be reopening. Um, Soon. Yeah, the 20th. So we're getting a whole bunch of, whole bunch of restaurants and stuff. A whole bunch of information coming out about that today. We saw some photographs going on at the entrance to Disney Springs where they're putting up the tents for the temperature screening. So that's just brand new today. Mm -hmm. Um... I guess it's raining, which is like making my allergies go crazy. My face is starting to swell up, so I'm a bit of a hot mess. But, um, so temperature screening tent went up today mm -hmm. yeah. and right by the entrance. And, um, I don't know, where do we even, where do we even begin? So, parking-wise, there's going to be two sections of the parking garage open where people can, um, park their cars. Park their and cars. then... There is going to be limited entrances into Disney Springs, so they still will have a, like a rideshare um, section where people can, you know, obviously rideshare and get dropped off and whatnot. If you're dropping off your kids, it's local. Um, are we going on the twentieth? We are not. We, we are not local, so we are here in Buffalo, New York, and yeah. we are going to stay in Buffalo, New York, till this calms down just a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> You know, yeah, if Brent comes on, we're going to give him a bit of a hard time about this. <laughs> um, so, <laughs> I mean, they were... Oh! <laughs> yeah, Brent Dodge! There's Brent Dodge. Everyone's complaining about your trivia. That was too <laughs> hard. Um, but he is the expert, and, you know, he is not going to lower himself. Is there? <laughs> is this the line for the bathroom? Yes. yes. So, um, you this, have your own bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> the VIP line. Yes. Um, in Rapunzel's area. So, anyways, two sections of the parking garage that people are going to be able to park in. They're going to go through a temperature <clears throat> screening, and the lucky number is 104 degrees. Um, it is not considered a, he is the expert, it is not considered a fever in the medical world per the CDC. Hey, Chris Bannis. Um, unless if the temperature is above 104. 
100.4 degrees. So, um, what does that mean if anybody in your group is tests above that? The whole group is not let in from what we're told. So it's not just the one person that's excluded, it's everybody in their party that's excluded when they go through the temperature screen contactless temperature screening and that's going to take place for all cast members that are working as well as um, custodial staff and guests wanting to go into Disney Springs. Oh, originally when the opening date was announced, it, they were allowed to open a little bit earlier, took a little bit, <laughs> took a little bit um of time for them to get the staffs and things like that in place so the 20th is the lucky number and originally there were only about three places that were going to be opening up that were confirmed now there's a whole laundry list of places that are looking to open up on the 20th um i'm not going to name them all off because the list is too long but i will put them really quick in the comments take it away joan uh <laughs> okay. <laughs> Talk about so, yourselves. Any questions about any of that before we move on while Joe's gathering his thoughts? Uh, wait, what was that about? Yeah. Brett lost his wit. Oh. Brett got lost on the way to the bathroom. I gotta, I gotta, I gotta go get a fireball. I'll, I'll <laughs> wait till, till Chrissy posts her thing. Um. <laughs> But then on the 27th um, is the Disney um, owned and operated. Uh, 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 I know I should turn my volume down. Yeah, sorry. you should probably turn your volume down. Yeah. Exactly. You're, whoa, Chrissy Gubel's watching. Whoa, weird. Uh, so, anyways, yeah, Disney, um, the Disney owned and operated stores, um, there's going to be three of them that are going to be op uh, reopening. Uh, it's going to be uh, World of Disney, uh, Deluxe Burger, for, um, that's going to be mobile ordering only, and then the uh, co-op uh, market marketplace. Mm -hmm. Another so. interesting little, I think, nugget that came out today is that Dis um, Disney and third party are recommending um, cashless payments for any transactions that are occurring down there. They're not saying they won't take cash, they're just recommending cashless payments, Apple Pay, Google Wallet, um, Disney gift card, your debit cards are preferred. Um, I can totally understand why that's happening because I work at a bank and money is gross. Which, I mean, that's that's going to be, that's the future of where your money anyways. Like, right now overseas, you see in Japan, they don't, they don't, they hardly touch money. It's all with their, with their phone. They just yeah, swipe it and, you know, that's that's their payment. So, we're just kind of the, us us Americans. We just kind of we legal tender, right? It's legal yeah, tender, so we um, feel like we should be able to use it. Yeah. They did say for um, those that maybe don't have a debit card or credit card with them, they will be selling gift cards at Disney. Do we know if the restaurants are opening up at twenty five or fifty percent capacity? We do not. Um, I have not. If anybody in the room has heard anything about that, I would love to know because. Um, now Florida is going into full phase one. They, I guess they were in partial phase one. Now they're in full phase one, which is actually allowing up to 50% capacity for restaurants as long as the tables are still six feet apart, which is good for some businesses that are able to accommodate that. But um, as we saw in Shanghai, where the government said that they could open up to 30%, but they worked their way up to that. We don't know if it's going to be a similar experience for Disney Springs or not. Animal Kingdom was already testing going cashless. Cool. I think Disney is usually the only place that I use cash. Um, typically, not that I want to advertise walking around with cash. I just find that when I am on vacation, I always feel like I'm very rich and I can spend whatever I want. And cash hurts a little bit more, in my opinion. So, for me, I would probably just at home buy Disney gift cards going forward um, to use down there instead of cash. Just because throughout this entire experience we have most are saying at 25 percent but it's up to each restaurant to decide well that's really good to know um so there you go the expert speaks um cheers this one's for you johnny Ooh, <laughs> friend's gonna be jealous um 
So I guess it's going to be up to the leadership of those particular restaurants to decide. But hopefully, you know, everybody is just going to be smart about it and stay safe. Mm. And of course, masks are required um, for all guests and yes. cast members, even for children under the age of three. Three. So this no, is... No, three, three and up. Oh, three and up. Three so and up. Ex excluding children under the age of three. Yeah. This is one of those little elements that we're watching very carefully because our little one is about two and a half and refuses to wear a mask and refuses to allow us to wear a mask just because I mean, we're taking them off our face. And so. I don't know if it's going to be different for her when she turns three or if it's something... You it's know, really good. I don't think I've had this since the last time I was no. at Disney. Yeah, it's been a while since you've had your break because you've been all over Josh. So, well, yes. the wine. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. So, um, but yeah, I mean, as of right now, Victoria, she she doesn't want any, she doesn't want the face the face covering. She'll just rip it right off. Um, she'll rip ours right off. Mm -hmm. um, you know, so I don't know if in six months that's just a behavioral thing that she's gonna. She changes and evolves every day, so we're just gonna so have to see what becomes we'll a see. new normal, or if you um, believe some. Of the media hype, maybe there will be a vaccine by then. Who knows? And speaking of masks, should we go into the masks? Might as well do the masks right now while we while we're talking about masks. Yeah. So, so we got three new masks this week. We did get some masks this week. Super super cute. Lisa says that her her son is four and won't wear one. Yeah. See that so, I mean, that's it's, hard for the kids because you yeah. can barely keep, you can barely get them to keep their pants on. Let's be real. Let alone. <clears throat> Any face covering, she won't wear a hat, she won't wear gloves, she barely wears socks and shoes, and like I said, lately, sometimes she doesn't even want to wear pants or a shirt, so how am I supposed to get her to keep on a mask? I don't know. And I mean, we're not going until at least April, so that's, who knows what's going to happen. That's the plan right now. What's going to happen by then. You know, we by then we might not need masks. So I was going to model these for you, but I washed them today so they'd be ready for work. Um this week so we are not going to model them because they are a little bit wet but i just want to show them to you our three new masks Did you want me to model them? my little the rest of oh. my little <laughs> mini dots i think it'll look really cute on joe as well Ooh. we have our mickey hat with the ears i don't think those will go go good with my eyes how cute is this mm -hmm. and then and then this is my personal favorite i think for joe because I think this is the most masculine one of the yes, bunch, right? Yes, and very patriotic. Very patriotic for Memorial Day coming up. What yes. is that? So we got these three masks, and they came with a pack of filters. So um, we will be able to make sure that we're nice and safe at work. And these came to us courtesy of the Lost Princess Apparel. And if you have never ordered for or taken a look at the Lost Princess Apparel merchandise, shame on you. Um, the Lost Princess Apparel is owned by... Um, so folks we know, Michelle and Scott Altwood, um, who run the Main Street Mouse, and they get, I don't think that's going nuts, <laughs> and, um, they get all of their merchandise from a company called Charlie's Project, and I'm not even going to pretend to know the full story, Chris, they're from Michelle, um, Lost Princess of Arrow, so, um, Charlie's Project, I'm not even going to pretend to know the whole backstory about it, but I know that the folks that started the company, um, it's part of a charity, and um, I know some of the proceeds do go to the charitable contribution, but please visit their website to learn the backstory, because I really hey, don't know at all. Oh my God, it's Melissa. <laughs> um, I haven't so. seen you in a million years, but... Maybe once this is over, we'll all get together for some sort of weird FYE or reunion. We can get the girls together. I think that would be really fun. But, um, um, so yeah, Lost Princess Apparel, Michelle and Scott. Take I'll a post, look at their website. I'll post a link, um, on the YouTube channel, um, in the comments for, for this. So. It's just one of those things when you <clears throat> order the masks, you don't think they're going to, like, overnight them. They're not sitting in their basement running, like, a sweatshop operation with, with great face masks no. with the kids. <laughs> Um, they do get it from the Charlie's Project Company, who's, um, from what we've been told, their, um, excuse me guys, sorry, allergies, um, their 
factory is running under new operating procedures to adhere to the social distancing guidance and things like that. So it's taking a little long for, longer for them to get the merchandise out than they typically would. Um, but they don't only sell masks, they have a lot of leggings, Disney inspired leggings and other leggings. And if you need some masks but don't necessarily want Disney inspired patterns, they do have some plain ones with respirators and things like that. All do come with filters with an option to purchase additional filters. Yeah, so. That's our little advertisement for our friend that sent us some masks. Yes. So. And they're cute. Yeah. The material's really, really light. So it's good that they come with the filters for sure. The material <clears> is um, a very similar material than you would find in leggings. So um, super, super cozy. Yeah. So let's see. City Walk. No, um, in two and a half hours, I think that's generous. Um, we've heard it was up to three, four hours at one point. Yeah, and I mean, it was, it was, they didn't have very many eateries open um, at City Walk, right? No, it didn't seem, in, it's hard for us to speak to because we've never been to City Walk. It's kind of like, oh, universal, we don't yeah. go there. <laughs> it's like um, the Pride Lands. Thank you, Chris. And, um, oh, thank you, Chris. Um, because Lord knows we were probably forgotten. <laughs> um, it's, we've just never been there, so it's hard for us to picture, but it looks like a cute and cozy place. It, it was a bit of a lineup to get in, but they are also doing temperature checks and things like that. No, people yeah. are not shy about going out and um, spending time and their money at these places or even spending three hours to get into Marguerite Bell. Are they heavy? No, they're not heavy. They're actually really light, surprisingly. I haven't tried it on with the filter yet to see how that would um, change it. And of course at work for sure, I will be wearing a filter, but I would imagine if I was like in a situation in a park where I know I could pretty much stay six feet away from people, I'm not sure if I would wear the filter all the time, but they are super, super light, similar to what you would find in leggings. Yeah, so that's it for cool. the masks. Yeah, right now, just because we, we don't live in Florida, um, we just don't, go to universal um we just don't take the time or usually have our own transportation yeah um or it's definitely something we're going to have our eye on as we're planning our next Walt disney world vacation is will it still be safe and viable to take disney transportation and how are they going to be working all that we'll have our eye on that and we'll let you know yeah. when we know um let's see did you go over all the stuff the temperature checks face covering physical Physical distancing. Physical distancing, six feet apart. I mean, there's a lot of really good information out there on the Disney website. Um, if the, you have any questions, they do have a pretty extensive the Disney frequently Springs, asked question. The Disney Springs website um, has a lot of, lot of stuff. Um, a lot of stuff. Right down to cleaning and sanitizing and how they're training the cast members to promote all of this. So. And I saw a couple people do a couple live streams from uh, Universal. And, you know, I would have to assume that with um, Disney getting more um, custodial staff at Disney Springs, um, you're going to see a lot of them cleaning a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, you're going to see them wiping down... All different kinds of things and uh, it's gonna it's gonna be a lot more cleaner <laughs> to say to say the one thing I think um, they're gonna do the best they can of course they know they can't control everything which is why the new disclaimers mm -hmm. out there and I know there's been a lot of chatter about that this week I'm just gonna go off camera here for a second and wipe my nose um, so a lot of chatter <laughs> about that this week um, where it's going to be part of buying a ticket where there's a disclosure about COVID-19 and it does say we have taken enhanced health and safety measures for you, our guests and cast members. You must, I just got your text message. Isn't that funny? <laughs> it even says you sent it to me 34 minutes ago and I just got it. <laughs> you must follow all posts and instructions while visiting Disney Springs. An inherent risk of exposure to COVID-19 exists in any public place where people are present. COVID-19 is an extremely contagious disease that will lead to severe illness and death. Ooh, Jesus. According to the Centers of Disease Control and Prevention, senior citizens and guests with underlying medical conditions are especially vulnerable 
by visiting Disney Springs, you voluntarily assume all risks related to the co exposure of COVID-19. Let's keep each other safe and healthy. So, actually it says healthy and safe. Um, before somebody corrects me on that, which I'm sure they would. Um, Catherine. Uh, Catherine Slajewski, cousin cat. Um, love you, baby girl. Um, so there is a disclosure with the entrance to the parks as well as I'm sure ticketed um, things to come that uh, they will, that you do assume all liability for your health and safety while you're there and that you have to make sure that you're taking the appropriate measures to stay safe. Yeah. And yeah, I would have to think that Universal is pushing really hard to get open, uh, what was it, by... June 1st? I don't know. I don't um, know if they actually set a date or not. I do know. Um, they're they're really pushing hard to get open first. Uh, I don't know if that's the wisest course of action, um, but it's universal. It, it, it is what it is. Um, yeah, I I'm always on the 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 side of better safe than sorry. Yeah. Uh, so you know, Disney Disney is taking all the right measures to. To uh, make make the guests feel as safe as they possibly can. Well, kind of like we talked about before, perception is reality. So it's Florida. The the state of Florida is opening up a lot faster than where we're from. Of course, we're from New York and we live in Buffalo, so we are not on the side of the state that is hit as hard. Um, but we are. As what you're seeing in the news, but we do have a lot of cases, and there has been, um, you know, some extreme cases here in Buffalo and in Western New York as a whole, so we may be a little bit more hesitant than um, some areas of the country that haven't been as far ahead, not yet, super um, So um, yeah, so Florida is opening up a lot faster than here, um, and we're just going to have to kind of wait and see and, um, you know, hope for the best and make sure, you know, pray everybody is safe Yeah. and washing their hands and not licking walls, Brent. If you're still watching, he gets distracted. <laughs> we do. Um, now, Western you know, New York was the second mm -hmm. um, highest area in New York. Over 4,000 cases here positive, and um, you know, unfortunately, a lot of people have passed away. We do have a lot of um, it's weird to say, but um, prisons. <laughs> And he liked their hoodie. Um, I think we got it at Epcot. I think we got it at uh, Mouse Gear. Um, so, um, prisons and, um, uh, help me out here. Correctional facilities? No. I don't do charades very oh. well. What's the word I'm thinking about? So I was like, uh, nursing homes. So we oh, do have a lot of nursing homes, homes here. <laughs> and of course, you know, there was... I had no idea where she was going with that. <laughs> there was um, some problems in nursing homes in the state and that, that hit us around here. But it's not just them. You know, um, that was about 45% of our cases, which means 55% have still been from the general public. Oh, Lord Chicago. God, God bless you. God bless you. I always forget you still live there because I know you plan to move. So, um, so that is what's going on here. Yeah. Um, anybody have any questions about the opening procedures on uh, Disney Springs or? Um, While they're typing, should we talk about wine? Sure, we can talk about wine. Feel free to ask ask your questions in the chat. Um, we will definitely answer them all because I had to take a lot of notes about wine because we're going to be talking about um, the French Pavilion today when it comes to wine. And for those of you that enjoy wine around the world like I do, um, the French Pavilion has a really, really extensive list. So I'm not going to go through them all, but I am going to post the um, menu in the comments so you guys can see it. But just to give you an idea... They serve champagne, white wine, red wine, a sparkling rosé, which, you know, a lot of sparkling wines are um, thought to be champagnes, but just being, champagne is not sparkling wine. Sparkling wine is not champagne. Two different things. It has to do with the grapes. And they even have two beers um, in the list. So if you are with your friends that prefer beer over wine, the French Pavilion has an option for you. Um, 
The pavilion also participates in the wine walk, which is really cool. And that goes along with the Germany and Italy pavilion. So those are actually my three favorite pavilions during the Mince France, Germany and Italy. But I do not participate in the wine walk typically because with the wine walk, you go to one of those pavilions, pay $32. They give you um, like a commemorative glass, which I think is actually plastic. And in each pavilion, you get two two ounce pours. They're pre selected from each pavilion. One is a red, one is a white, no substitutions. And since I don't drink red wine, I don't typically go for that. But um, if you don't have a preference between red wine and white wine, um, wine! Mm. Um, you having a glass with me today, Judy? Um, then the wine walk is a really good option and a really good value for you for $32. That's actually not bad as far as Disney prices go. So my favorite wine, um, in the French pavilion <laughs> is, um, actually <laughs> he's in so much trouble. Um, I'll get him back on Wednesday. Um, a Vouvray, which is, um, a wine that you can find a lot in your local stores. It's a semi-dry white wine, and um, I don't know, I really like it. I don't think I've had it since the last time we were in Disney, so I am happy to enjoy a glass tonight. And like I said, I will post the menu in the comment section because it is so long. We would be here all night with me just going through it. Although I do think it would be really fun to play a game. One of these nights, maybe we'll do it on Zoom, is how do you pronounce that wine from Epcot? because some of them are very um, regional and um, authentic. So the, the pronunciations are in the language of the pavilion. And um, I played a little bit with um, Joe this week at, and with Brent to pronounce one of the champagnes and they totally butchered it and it was hilarious. I was pretty so, close. No, you were not close. And she was <laughs> even farther away. Um, I, I'll play his sound clip, maybe. Uh, uh, sound clip? No, not you. Oh, all right. This is Brent's sound clip. If I can find it. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so what, which uh, pavilion do you guys like to drink at? Or just visit if you don't drink. But mostly drink. Because we're talking about World Showcase here. It's true. <laughs> Hmm. Germany Pavilion? Madonna or something? I don't know if you guys can hear this. Puppy. Here we go, guys. This is Brent. Chateau Una du Puppy. Okay. This is the correct pronunciation for what he just said. Sort of, because I do not have a good French accent. That's a nude the pop. So, um, yeah, anyways, a fun game. I know, Chris. We we were only able to do that once for all the years. <laughs> Johnny said all of them. <laughs> um, my kind of guy. So, um, I don't know. I think that would be a fun game to play. What did I miss while I was looking that up? Just going to tennis, baby. All right, Lisa, I will write that down actually and take note because maybe I can find it for you when we talk about the Germany Pavilion. We have officially um, been to all four Epcot festivals. We rounded out our list last year when we went to the um, Festival of the Arts. Um, actually, that was this year. Oh, I forgot we went to the Festival of the Arts this year, which was the first time we were able to hit up that festival. And now we have officially done all four festivals in Epcot. And um, unpopular opinion, but the Festival of the Arts is actually our least favorite, which we know a lot of people love that festival. But um, where we're from, it's a very artsy city, and we do have a lot of arts festivals here already. And it wasn't um, all that unique that we found compared to what we typically see a lot in our summers here at home. Um, but um, I know my favorite, and I'll let Joe speak to his, is definitely the Flower and Garden Festival, which is why we're trying to get back for that next year to kind of make up for my lost birthday trip this year. See, Festival of the Arts is your favorite. Flower and Garden, and then the Arts Festival. Yeah. 
So for me, I don't know. The Festival of the Arts is just, you know, was not my favorite festival. Not that we di disliked it. We didn't by any means dislike it. It just wasn't um, unique enough to us compared to what we do already get at home. I know Flower and Garden is definitely my favorite too. I don't oh no, I love the topiaries and um you know we I think we went to the butterfly tent last time and just a lot of different activities there and a lot of really cool playgrounds for the kids. Not that they don't have that during the rest of them too, but um we got flower and wine. Oh, food and wine, then flower and garden. Yeah, I like food and wine a lot too. We did like it when it first started a little bit better before they started offering free dining during that time. Um, Flower and Garden is my favorite too. See, that's why we go along to the Chris. But um, they started offering free dining a lot during the food and wine festival, which made the, booth, the lines of booths really long. Oh, that's super cool. Was it busy, Denise, when you went down? Probably not, because it was right before they closed. I bet it was pretty bad, but um, almost sad that a lot of that work didn't get to um, get the enjoyment that it typically would, and it got taken down just recently, I think last week, um, with nobody there to see it, unfortunately, which is kind of sad, given all the work that they put into it throughout the year. Flower and Garden, Food and Wine, Arts and Holidays, there for four. It wasn't too crazy and really, I know, I know, that's what we were thinking about January too, when we reflect back, I don't know if we would have necessarily done anything differently, because we had a great trip, um, but we, we had other trips planned this year for sure in, in June, just coming up soon for my birthday. And then um, we were going to go down again in the fall for Joe's birthday. And then we were kind of planning a weekend in between, which we were just going to coordinate with some friends down there. We didn't really have dates planned for that. And to, oh, who knows when again? I know. I know our target right now is April. I'm secretly happy, hoping to go a little bit before that, but we'll have to see. And then we were going to go in January again for a longer trip in the beginning of January before Victoria turns three because of course she's three until she's free till three right so after that we're going to have to get her her own pass we'll have to see what that looks like now I only been to food and wine which is a great festival they're all really great none of them are bad Judy's book for March. I know we're probably just gonna miss you. It's usually what happens. We're talking about what our favorite festival is. Oh my god. Life with the toddler, here he comes back. Hey, welcome back. And we're just talking about our favorite festival. Our favorite festival. I said my least favorite was Festival of the Arts. Least and favorite my is festival favorite the Arts. is um Flower and Garden. Flower and Garden. That would probably be probably be our two yeah. We, we pretty much... I mean, we really like the holidays, too, especially the cookie walk. Mm-hmm. The cookie walk was fun. It's interesting. I, there were a couple of really bad cookies. Like, really bad. Exactly. None of them are bad. They're all really good. Like, some of those cookies were pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I didn't get to try all six of them, but... Um, I think we missed a couple. Yeah. But I did have to try the one that everyone said was bad, and it was pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> so, was that like the yin yang one? Yeah, it was like the black, the, the the chocolate and the vanilla frosting yeah. sort of thing, and it was pretty dry. And um, the festival of the arts. That one's in the beginning of the year. Yeah, um, it's it's like a giant art show uh, <sighs> for painters. Um, you know, there's some, um... Like soaps and essential oils there, but a lot yeah. of paint and, um, paint, yeah, a little painting. bit of photography. No, there wasn't any photography. At least the <laughs> black and white one was not good. There, the, 
that and that's kind of what I think upset me about that was that it were if they're celebrating the arts it should be all of the arts so photography as an artist um, it it needed to be represented and it just wasn't there it was all about the frames when you do our comments um, I'm not ignoring everybody it was all about the artist it was all about these these high like the, these already established artists that um, everyone already knows and they see every year. Um, you know, it was cool so, because there's a lot of celebrities there. Exactly. And um, I think my favorite part of that festival was the Broadway series. Mm -hmm. I thought it was really, really cool. Yeah. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's, an, it's a good festival. But as an artist myself, I, I wish that they would incorporate photography into that. Um, so if... They want me to oh, I can't have a stand. The comments, no. so, so I'm actually going to have to. Okay, yeah. we'll do that later. Yeah. So if they, yeah, if they want me to. Uh... <gasps> this is Arthur's first show with us. Hey, Yay! <laughs> I hope you. I so, hope you enjoy yourself and you keep coming along on Sunday yeah. evenings with us. That would be so I cool wish. if they did. Um, I really, I they really did wish. invite Joe Diebold from Joe Diebold Photography <laughs> slash Moments of the Magic. We would love it. I mean, there's so many different photographers out there that do such amazing work. Um, and also, there's there's artists that they have on staff that that do great work as well. So I don't know. They can promote their own. They're within their own their own company, um, but that's just me. So, um, what is Chris here? Chris, I would leave it until the parks reopen and kind of see what is going on. Um, see, yeah. See what the vibe is. Um, another interesting thing that came up today is um, our vice president, and not to talk politics, but he is that's his job. He's the vice president. We'll be going um, to Orlando on Wednesday of this week to visit some, I think, nursing homes and VA posts. And also he's going to be meeting with the leadership of Disney to discuss reopening, which I thought was, well, the leadership of the theme park. So I don't know if it's just Disney or if it's probably it the other ones of, as well, yeah. um, to discuss the reopening plan. So I can definitely see why it's getting so much attention by high ranking officials because there's a lot of money being lost to the state right now, for sure. Mm -hmm. Think about the income tax alone. Yeah. Oof, God. Yeah. Especially since there is no income tax. Well, they, Florida doesn't have an income tax. Or, um, I'm sorry, sales tax. Yeah. The sales tax alone. Oh. Um, I yeah. think, I think about like you having to pay your quarterly sales tax and that's just peanuts, but yeah. just imagine all of that being that lost business, right now. That's yeah. crazy. Yep. Arthur would go to the photography one. That's a good manner. <clears throat> yeah. So we've talked wine, we've talked masks. I wish we had more information about opening. We just don't yet. Oh, oh thank, thank you. you. Thank He's you very loving much. the black and white. Great. That's getting a lot of yeah. love, the black and white photos. Yeah, I, you know, it was just something that I decided to, to just start doing. This is um, really good. Changing, changing it up a little bit. Um, you know, and I, I, I am pleasantly surprised by the response that everyone is, is showing me for uh, for the black this black and white series that I have out, um, I'm sure they're coming up with a safe plan too, Judy. And you know that doesn't mean we shouldn't all still be diligent as we're starting to um, relax our social distancing standards a little bit within our communities and just make sure that you're still washing your hands, keeping good hygiene. And and I mean they're gonna take a, a giant cue from Shanghai. They're gonna see what Shanghai is doing right and what Shanghai China is doing is wrong. Yeah. And, you know, um, you know, they're, they're definitely going to be, you know, there's, I mean, there's always going to be the temperature checks and, and there's, they're going to eventually see other ways of implementing temperature checks. Um, I'm, I'm saying in the future, it's going to be part of the magic band. Yeah. Who, who um, knows? That's, who knows? Hopefully 
somehow, some way, somebody smarter than me will find a way to kick this thing. We won't have to worry about it by this point next year. And we'll be like, remember last year when all we were talking about was a virus? And now we're talking about going on Dumbo again. Yeah. Wouldn't that be great? Um, I would love to go on Dumbo. My thoughts on, on Sepia. Um, I don't usually use it too much. Um, it's, I, I would think that it's more of a every once in a while um, than it is um, a constant, um, like a, a, a preset for, for, your, for your photo. But um, it, it's something that I, I would probably use every once in a great while. Um, I'm more of a straightforward, it is, I, I like to see the photo more as it is than adding too much, uh, changing it too much. Um, black and white is, is a big stretch for me. Um, changing it from, I don't usually do too much black and white. So, um, the, this series is, is, is a total, total different, different set. So. Put out some friends. Yeah. Even at 30% capacity, it's still going to be very hard to social distance. I agree with that. You think about um, some of the parties yeah, no and um, how busy they can be. And I would imagine they're not a heck of a lot above 30%, especially like the after hours and the early morning magic. And some of that can still get pretty congested. So we'll see what happens. And Judy, the same. Um, our beaches are opening this weekend as well, or next weekend, which... We're is, not going. No, we're not going. <laughs> but um, not that we're not going because of this. We wouldn't have gone to the beach anyway. It's just not yeah. our thing. But um, it's supposed to be like in the mid-70s, the upper 70s here next weekend in western New York. So I would imagine that's going to make a lot of people flock to the beaches. And hopefully, you know, there are good outcomes there. I don't know how they're going to keep it to 50% capacity. We'll find out That's in two my, weeks. I mean, we always say two weeks, right? Kind of like the safari. See you in two weeks. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> to see if there's any change in the numbers, and hopefully they just continue to go down because we never want to see anybody not feel well. No. For I'm sure. Check on her. Excuse me. Okay. So while well, she's checking on you, um, <laughs> what else is going on? I'm, have you guys talked about? I don't know what you guys, else you guys talked about, but did you guys talk about the? Uh, Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party or the uh, Christmas Party. Uh, which one's your favorite? I'll tell you, I love the Halloween. Uh, that's probably my favorite of the two. Um, but we appreciate you, Arthur. Uh, we appreciate all of our our people who come onto the stream. And <laughs> I got one lined up, Johnny. <laughs> Just waiting for Chrissy to get back. I, I mean, it's it's such a tough choice um, because I love Christmas and I love the feeling of Christmas and I love the decorations of Christmas, but there's a total different feeling of on Main Street for Halloween than it is for Christmas. Um, it's it's like electric for me. I when I walk down and see it decorated for Halloween, it's just it's just something in me. It just like it just I get I, I don't know. It, it just so like I said, it's so electric. Um, boogie 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 boogie. Yeah, we're talking about uh, Halloween versus Christmas. Mmm, I love Halloween. Love Christmas too. Late August. We went in, when did we go? September? October the one time? And I almost had a heat stroke because of my costume. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Full Mickey costume. So I don't know if you guys have seen my costume, but yeah. it's a You'll have to post full, a picture of that. I think, I think for Halloween, we're going to dress up. And I'll dress up. We say that every year. We'll have to see what day of the week it's on. Halloween's on a Saturday, so we'll have to do it the day after. I know, right? They do start it really early now. Yeah. Obviously, it's to get more parties and generate more revenue, but it is a little bit early. And they've been all they've been all sold out. Yeah. So it's people are enjoying it. You know, and 
with they increase the price. So, but as much as people complain about all that kind of stuff, people they are still, still going. <laughs> so it's like they're doing something right. So. <laughs> Oh, Lord, that's a really good question, too. Who knows? <laughs> wipe, wipe all the candy down with a, <laughs> with a Lysol. Yeah, I know. I can put it back for the kids. We'll see what ends up happening. <laughs> yeah. But you got to do the cookie walk. Cookie walk. Can I say hi? Uh, probably not. She's going to think that you want to brush your teeth again. Nope. Yes, I brushed the cat's teeth. She has gingivitis. <laughs> She's so happy. <laughs> <laughs> Can you tell? So here. The Johnny, fire Valley. Johnny, Johnny said I need another fireball. Oh, Lord. How many is this? This is two. Oh, God. Yep. There's going to be no living with him. There All is right. no living with me. <laughs> no, it's going to be worse because I touched the cat. Oh, gosh. I promise because they don't have the COVID. Mm -hmm. Cheers. Cheers. To all you guys. To all of you. That's terrible. I never take allergy medicine. When I take allergy medicine, it almost makes it worse, at least at first, until... Yeah, baby. I like the way he thinks. He already lives in Jersey. We can hang out. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she is very furry. Very furry. Which is why my allergies, I think, are going nuts tonight. So we we have a question for you guys. Um, yeah, we're we're gonna we're gonna try to also start doing some little streams, uh, live streams on YouTube. I don't know if anybody you guys. Would be interested. It's just going to be kind of like a, you know, just just like a general chat type thing, and um, just every once in a while, just to see, you know. I think probably monthly. Yeah, I don't know if that might be something you guys would be interested in. We always have to figure out like the best day of the week for these things. Um, I'm trying to trying to find some place where we can. We can do a, like some more social hangouts. Um, we did one on a Zoom, um, and you know that worked out pretty well. Yeah, that was fun. Um, yeah, and I, I don't know. We would like to do more of that. We we want to get to know all you guys. Um, it's always fun chatting at you on Sunday nights, but it's weird because we can't actually see you. So you could be just like texting and not paying attention at all, or exactly. Yeah, I mean we 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 want we want to get interaction. We we want everybody to just get to know each other have a good time and maybe i'll post a video of the cat playing yeah, she's going <laughs> so but yeah we're gonna cut joe's hair this weekend we're supposed to get yes, the clippers and clippers uh, uh, johnny was asking you know we should be getting the clippers the 23rd? Something like that. It's an Amazon order, so we're just keeping a watch on the shipping there, but I think the estimated shipping date was next Saturday. I can't do Zoom until... <laughs> 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 oh, Judy, we're all a hot mess. It's fine. I just dropped a cat. Oh. Thank you, Arthur. Thank you. <laughs> oh my god, the cat is just... She's going crazy. She is going crazy. Um, Crazy cool though. She's so much fun. Toddler kid, toddler cat. <clears throat> so what's going on with you guys? Any questions at all? Or <clears throat> our little one is about ready to fall asleep. I think. Which is good because mommy's gonna go oh to sleep gosh. right after this. No, she's not. Gonna... No, she's not. She's gonna stay up and watch crime shows. <laughs> I do like my crime shows. It's true. <laughs> And I don't gonna, know why, but I love them. And I'm going to edit some photos and try to, to care about my crime shows because yeah. he's a good husband. I've been trying to figure out how to do vlogging. It's uh, Judy, post before and after pictures. I'd love to see that. There you go. 
Yeah, mm -hmm. you can put it on the Moments of Magic group. I'm like what? super nervous about it. I don't even know if I'm gonna do it actually. We might just bring the clippers over to his mom's and I might let his mom do it. I'll do it. Just twos. Right all, right all over the place. I don't know, but then you were saying something about fading in the back of your head or something. No, I don't know. This this little part. So there's a little part right <laughs> Everybody's very interested this in this. This little hair. part right back here. See all this hair? I need all this gone. This this right here is <laughs> all gone. So so that needs to... I know, even my sister cut her own hair recently. She cut her own hair and then did her own eyebrows, but didn't post pictures, so I'm not sure how that turned out. So well, photo editing, um, I use Lightroom and Photoshop. So mostly I use Lightroom <coughs> to, do the, to do the editing and Photoshop to do a couple tweaks and stuff, but I've been trying to um, edit more in Photoshop because there is a lot more that you can do in Photoshop. Um, granted, I don't know everything, all the little stuff, so you know, I just keep watching different, different He's tutorials. He's his own worst critic. He's I, like, I don't know how to do anything, and I don't take good pictures. So <laughs> I've been, I've been taking pictures of of my toys that I, you know, I have. I'll show them. <laughs> I have, I have, um. Like my old tran my old Transformers and my old uh, Star Wars toys that I've been taking pictures of and uh, just doing things like that, you know. Um, and I've been trying to edit them in, in Photoshop and adding things. And um, he has this old. I don't know if you guys can see it. Yeah, I wanted a Floby. I was telling her that. Just stick it right to the vacuum cleaner and. Oh, do you? No, I, I just oh my god, I thought he was going to say he has a floby. Oh <laughs> my god, that would have been hilarious. I, uh, see, I'm, I'm, I'm now trying to, trying to do more of the, more into vlogging also. Um, so this I want to try to do some, of a toy car. I don't know if you guys some can see. behind the scenes. There's the kit right there. <laughs> There's the cat. There's Joe. Excuse the room. It's our playroom, guys, for the baby. Playroom uh, slash studio. It's a studio that, that nobody's allowed to go into because we're social distancing. But yeah. there's a picture of his car. Too funny. I don't know. Probably on Amazon because you can buy everything on Amazon, right? <laughs> 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 or the Made in the USA store. Or Flobby's Made in the US. I don't know. They better be. <laughs> <laughs> he uses Paint Shop Pro. Yeah, very cool. I don't even know what that is, but it sounds cool. It's Paint Shop Pro. He's the artist. eBay for sure. Everything uh, is on eBay. Hmm. You might pay like $200 for a $20 item, but it is on eBay if you really want it. Yeah. Remember way back when, when eBay started and you could buy some really cool things for cheap? on ebay and now it's all the auction now it's now everybody is like just another platform cool thank you Great. we'd love to see him look at this Oof. glorious everybody cares as much about your hair as Quinn cared about rapunzel he just wanted to get out of this what <laughs> Cut me deep, Devold. Cut me deep. <laughs> Sorry, Devold. <laughs> Does anybody else have any kind of questions at all? Or? Thoughts? If not, we will sign off. For an I would have a second glass of this if I didn't have to work tomorrow, but I do, so I'm not going to. Mm. Oh, that means you can't two tomorrow. It's a Monday. Wow. <laughs> Mondays. Monday, Monday, da da, paint shop. Hmm, interesting. I'll have to check it out. Um, yeah, I I have a ten dollar subscription per month for um, the the uh, Lightroom and uh, Photoshop. I mean, you you just couldn't beat it, um, beat that deal for the the two programs. Um, I just I can't see because. I want all the different apps that Adobe has. 
I just can't. They're so expensive. I mean, you can yeah. only write so much off in your taxes, you know? You can, um, there's a, a, a website or a, a, a Facebook group that we have that's Moments of Magic um, that you can post your photos to. We would love to see some of yours. So um, I'll, I'll post a link to it. Um, hey, Debbie just joined. So, oh, Debbie. Yeah, I'll, I'll try to find, actually, give me your phone and I'll see if I can. May I have your phone? Please? Don't give it to me now. <laughs> Entertain our guests. <laughs> be our guest. Be our guest. She sings a lot better than me. To the test. I'm also not a professional singer. You too, Judy. See you soon. Hiding uh, up in Robin the Chicken. Let's see. Maybe we should maybe we should have a Zoom sing along. We can play the Disney sing along. We could we could do that. And we could all sing along. We could definitely do that. Would anybody actually do that with me or <laughs> I know, I would do that. I'm sure Brent would do that because he's a, a professional, professional singer. singer. Um, how do I get the web page? Or the the URL for it. Hmm. I have no idea, but we will post it to the comments. Yeah, I will post it to the comments uh, later. What is your favorite thing to take photos of when you are at Disney? Oh, okay. Which... I would say wherever the sun is shining, <laughs> from the sunbursts, sunrise set shots, sunset shots, the castle, the Epcot ball. That's my predictions. Well, let's see. So it depends on the park. We can't sing either. That's the whole. That's the whole point. <laughs> um, so I mean, this is this could be a really. <sighs> <laughs> so my favorite, my favorite place for taking photos, um, I mean, I oh, see. I love Fantasyland. Um, I love um, Maurice's Cottage. And Gaston's area and the Little Mermaid area. Um, I I don't know. I sat back there for we've sat back there for a while, taking pictures. Um, we literally say hours, and a lot of that is because hey, when Victoria is taking a nap. Hey, Sarah. Um, when Victoria is taking a nap, we just kind of find a place where I can park with her <clears throat> in a little bit of a um, quiet area, if you will. Mm -hmm. And. So, one of my one of my favorite photos that I've ever taken at Disney is at the Little Mermaid queue. Um, I don't know if you guys remember that photo. It's the one with the, the sun coming up. Um, it was it was bright and early in the morning. Um, we have we have a picture of of it on metal um, in our living room, and it is it, it really is my my really favorite. Uh, photo that I've taken. I, I'm I'm actually that is one photo. I'm so proud to have taken um, Making I, I made her wait and she she went on the ride twice while waiting for me. Was that pre touring? Yeah, it was pre Victoria. Yeah, I think that was the first time I've ever gone on a ride by myself. I was yeah. so nervous <laughs> And I'm gonna get lost in the queue. I was like I was like I need to sit sit here <clears throat> She's like why I'm like I'm, I'm like, like, I need to go do I'm something. Like, so. The sun is going to come up right there, and I need that shot. So, I, yeah. So, overall, I love Fantasyland. Um, it's, it, of course, I love the castle. The, you know, the castle. But, um, you know, each, each part of the park. Yeah, of course. Of course, we'll post a photo of that. Sure. Um, each part of the park. Yeah, so Actually, I'm gonna show you. Yeah. I wonder if I can show. It. No, I because I'd have to take this phone down. Yeah, you have to take this phone. Oh, see, we gotta uh. zoom more. <laughs> um, yeah, I'll, I'll post that photo. Um, you know, I love um, Tomorrowland at night um, with the, the neon. neon. The neon is just amazing there. Um, you know, the one. The one place that we don't go very much is Adventureland. Um, 
you know, it's just, it's so dark over there. Um, I mean, granted, I can do, I, I've done long exposures there, so, but it's just that there's really not much of, of a grandiose photo to take in that area. Um, so it, it, it's, it's kind of tough um, to, to, take, to take shots in Adventureland at night. Um, ah. <clears throat> so um, in Epcot, I have to say my favorite, my favorite place to take photos in Epcot is uh, the... Um, the Morocco Pavilion. Uh, I just love the way Morocco looks. Um, it, it really is an underrated pavilion for that. Um, but you know, there are more and more people who are who love the Morocco Pavilion. Um, yes, yes, it does have have great lighting, but it's it's getting there in the morning <laughs> that's that's the that's the hard part um like serious especially with with baby but that they didn't they really haven't had a lot of opening like getting there before like at sunrise so um you know it's been a while before we've been in the park at when the sun is coming up Yeah, you should check out some of Joe's. Um, yeah, I, I could. We I, spent some good time there. I, I literally could there. have spent like days, <laughs> days at Galaxy's Edge. It's, it, 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 they really did an awesome job with it. And um, I, I just want to, to get all of the details. There's so many little details. Just one. It's. Yep. I don't know, is it up here? Uh, um, it is up here. I think, no, it's not. But the bag he carries, because he carries several lenses, is probably between 25 and 30 pounds of equipment that he carries. Yeah, especially with the tripod on it. The tripod, um, I use a, a Manfrotto uh, tripod right now. That thing weighs like five pounds. That'll be a good um, project for us to work on when, since we're not going again in this calendar year, is to find a better tripod for the park. It, it's tough. Um, and I mean, I can do a little, little video on all the tripods that I've used. Um, there are some, there are a few that I really liked. Uh, there are some that I hated. And this one's not our favorite. I, it's it's okay. I fixed it. I actually fixed it. Oh, thank God. Yeah. It like so. broke while we were down there. I was so <laughs> the mad. First, the first time I took it off my bag. I was so mad. We just bought <laughs> it right before the trip and it was like $200. Yeah. He takes it off his bag and it breaks. I was like, I'm like what are you kidding earth? me? So it, it was. <laughs> oh, he may have cried a little. <laughs> uh, <laughs> He may or may not. I cannot confirm it was, tonight because I don't want to embarrass him, but he may. It was beautiful. Um, no, um, I do not use a monopod. I use more of a tripod um, just because it. I don't. I don't stand still very well. Um, that's that's. So for a monopod, you know, you you need to, to still stand still pretty quick because you have because you have to hold long, it. He does a lot of long exposures, um, and. I just I, I I fidget. I I'm a fidgeter. I, I need to rock back and forth kind of thing. So um I need to have a tripod to, to be able to do that. Um Hey John. Um but yeah, I mean that's No, it's a good um, question because I, I know that I I'm not artsy at all. So that's totally <clears throat> his gig. Hey Jeremy's on. I think I made Jeremy rich today. I'll tell you later. Oh. Give him an idea about an afternoon tea. Whoa. Um, <laughs> Are you going to get like a third of the profits? <laughs> no, I'll probably go and pay. Oh. But, <laughs> 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 um, 
So I think I asked him about a monopod at one point just because I knew it would be lighter and more convenient, but um, yeah, I, I, it, I just wouldn't work I, for the I, type I, of work that he does. It just, it, it, yeah, I'm just, but but the cool thing with the new camera that, that I want is that it's got the in-body stabilization and then you got the lenses that have the the in-camera stabilization, so <sighs> yeah, so we'll see. I just have to save up my pennies. Save up those pennies and hopefully yeah. some weddings will open up soon and some people I just want some maternity photos. I just, yeah. want, I just want to take maternity photos. If anybody knows anybody in Buffalo, New York that needs a picture taken with and say, please, because he wants to go mirrorless and that's a lot of money. Yes, lots of money. <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll try to do a vlog on... Uh, I was say, we don't even have to do weddings necessarily. No, we'll love no. some weddings just because we no. want to see the couple start to get married again. I just... I just I just really want to get maternity pho into maternity photography because that's awesome. That's his favorite. Yeah, the new camera is the Canon, um, the R5, the EOS R5. Um, it's a mirrorless camera, and this thing is beautiful. This thing now, Sony had their has their top of the line, and this like beats Sony. I mean, it really is such an amazing camera. I'll have to get all the specs and everything for you. Um, I, I'd like to try to do a little video on it. Um, but In full disclosure, this camera has not been released yet, yeah, so that's why... It's supposed to be July Yeah, that we're seeing that it's supposed to come out, but who knows? Yeah, you, you should, if you really are looking into going mirrorless and Oh, Johnny. But yeah, if you're, <laughs> um, but yeah, if you're looking into going mirrorless, um, Canon does now have a few options for you. Um, it's it, the Canon did make a game changer. Um, even the the new one, um, the Canon uh, Canon R. Um, there was a a guy that um, I I've been introduced to by YouTube. Um, his name, he, he goes by Tom Does Disney, and uh, he just did his first vlog with the, the new Canon um, EOS R uh, mirrorless camera, and it is super crisp. It is a beautiful camera. It, it you know, the, the eye stable is the eye detect, where it detects your, it, it finds the eye of the person that it's, that it's shooting. Um, it, it you gotta look into mirrorless because mirrorless is gonna be the future of cameras. Um, it there, Canon probably won't be making um, digital cameras in a couple of years. It'll all be mirrorless. Um, it, it's it's just the way that the the progression of cameras are going. Um, so stabilizer? Do you use a stabilizer? It's it's in the body. It's oh. inside the camera, and it's also inside any of the lenses, like like the the seventy to two hundred that I have. Um, it has an in 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 lens stabilization. So any kind of like if you have the little shakes, like your hand shakes a little bit, your lens should should um, should should compensate for that, but. The in body with the camera and the in body in, in camera um, stabilization together, you can hold that that shot. You should be able to hold that shot for like a couple seconds and have a crystal clear shot. Um, give me one second. I'll be right back. Oh boy, I have nothing to talk about. <laughs> <laughs> Which is so unusual for me. I usually talk all night long. Tonight I'm a little bit speechless. I'm like, oh boy. Why are we bringing this out? Because Johnny asked. Johnny asked. Oh, Johnny. 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 Mm. 
such a good day. Um, it was such a rough day too because it's, they had so much fun building these things and then the baby broke Joe's phone and I got really mad. So. <laughs> it's tough to say on, it depends on how tough, how, how much of the, your hand shakes. Um, I know Parkinson's can be, can be really tough. Um, so it just depends on the severity of that particular symptom. Yeah. Uh, so Johnny. Oh, Isn't it beautiful? Oh. Lisa, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> but now he's going to want to do this experience. Look at this. So what I'm going to do is right I'll post here on how to change the batteries. Of this. Didn't you do a video on that the other day? Ah, uh, no. Oh, I thought we did a video on that. We uh, should do a yeah, video no, on we that. did. Yeah, I did a video on how to change the batteries. Yeah. Believe it or not, this thing just takes AAA batteries. So yeah, a lot of people when they originally came out were complaining. Oh, I got it home and it already doesn't work. Well, change the batteries and it'll work again. Because um, I mean, that's a pretty bright light to just run on three AAA's. This. <laughs> well, see, so the. The hilt is a protector hilt, um, which, so technically the blade should be yellow, but I got purple. He got purple because that's my favorite color. He said I would let him <laughs> hang it on my wall, but I did not, so. And how could you play with it if, I, if you hung it on the wall anyway? Because then I would have to get another one. Chris, you built one? Yeah. Oh my gravy. I tell you, you need to come in no. next time. What, what are we going to do with Tori? Uh, yeah, exactly. She's like, she's going to stand there for that. Brent? <laughs> Brent's going to want to build one. <laughs> There's no way he's still watching, but if he was, he'd be like, yes. I'm not watching the baby. I'm going to go build a lightsaber. No, I we actually shipped it, we home. Shipped it. Yeah. Um, so the one thing about this this sword okay is at the shop that you build it at you they don't they don't do anything with shipping okay so once you're done in the savvy workshop you uh you take it with you yeah. you leave with the lightsaber but if you ship it right away how are you going to do pictures in front of the millennium exactly. Belton anyway but what you have to do is you have to go to um the uh, any of the shops that they have within and Galaxy's Edge, with, and they yeah, will ship it for and you. They'll ship it, ship it home to you. Um, Which was cool because what was that gift shop we went to where you bought the other? I, I don't. I honestly, I don't know what the names of them are because um, I, I was too in awe of. But they had the, all of the crystals. They yeah, had the those, Jedi holocron. They the had holocron. the Sith holocron. Because we were able to go there and shop and get everything that he wanted. Yeah. Otherwise, you guys can tell him if you don't know, I'm not Star Worthy either. But um, we oh, were yeah. able to get everything that you wanted, and then we yeah, just Chris shipped is, it all home together. Chris has got both the, the Sith and Jedi holocrons. Um, and Weren't they sold out of one of them? When we were there? They were, they sold out of, no, they, they sold out of the Sith, um, uh, which We can always count on her, Doc, or, Doc, what? I'm gonna be 40. I might need reading glasses. Andors? Yeah. Andors? Um, it was um, right across from that eatery, right? That we liked? Yeah. Maybe? I don't know. I I remember we ended up, me and Victoria ended up leaving and I went over there and ended up getting a soda or something because it was pouring rain and I don't know, it was just a mess. But um, while you guys were shopping and we were getting bumped into a lot, so yeah. I just remember. Oh, it was going. packed. It was yeah. jam packed in there. Um, that that shop is way too small. <laughs> <laughs> oh, me too. Do you really want to know? No, he oh. does not want to know. He needs to work in the morning, so oh, we're not right. going to go through that tonight. Go back and watch episode um, whatever that was on May the 5th. Or May the 4th or whatever. Revenge of the 5th. I don't know.
and he will say it like 50 million times. Excellent. See, she knows. She knows all of this stuff. Thanks, Chris. <laughs> so. If you guys don't follow WDW Maniacs, please log on to your Facebook page and give her a good like. because She's got a lot of good knowledge. Good content. And she's our friend, so there's that. Okay. All right. So I think what we'll do is we're going to sign off for now. Um, I don't know if there's any, anybody else has any kind of questions at all. But um, but if you do, write them down because we will be back at the same time next week, 8.30 Sunday night. Um, if there is any interest in another Zoom meeting this week, I am back to work this week. So there's not as much time this week. But <laughs> did he write it down? God love him. It's, um, he's close. <laughs> he's very close. <laughs> we'll talk about it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> he's close, um, but way off. <laughs> if, there, if there is any interest in a Zoom meeting this week, just kind of let us know that. Because Thank you, we Just want to make sure that um, if we're going to run into those areas I, of interest. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna look into a couple other things that. Um, you know, could stream onto Facebook, on, maybe, on, or onto YouTube, um, kind of things like that. I'm. We'll do Auntie Chris. She loves you. We we really want, we we really want to try to, because YouTube is actually going to be is really starting to be the next big thing, um, if, if with however long that they've been out, more people are are going to YouTube than they are to Facebook or, and also Instagram. Um, so it's. It's it. We just have to stay up to date with current social media trends. TikTok. So, ugh, I haven't posted. Not that I'm TikTok. rushing him, but yeah. the website's actually called TikTok. Yeah. So. All right. All right, guys. Thank you very much. Yep. We really we, appreciate you staying make healthy. Make sure if you stay like safe. our stuff, um, please hit that sub subscribe button. Hit the like. Hit the bell. <laughs> and uh, we will talk to you guys later. Okay. Have a good night.